Hello, thanks for joining me for another video beer review then. Today we've got a, a well, it's, I say it's new, fairly new from Time and Tide down in Deal in Kent. And this is their Monster Soup Double IPA. It's coming in at 8% ABV. Um, so the hops in this are Mosaic, Idaho 7 and Simcoe. Uh, they're using the London Ale Free Yeast. They seem to be doing that with a lot of their beers and certainly re-releasing them with, with that yeast profile in them as well. So it's all good. What I've had from, from that kind of yeast profile, is, for me, it, 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 it's definitely improved um, some of their beers for sure. Um, their Sprat Waffler, Session IPA, Core Range beer, absolutely banging, really good. Um, so the malts in this then are Pilsner, Maris Otter, Wheat malt, flaked barley, and flaked oats. This is coming in at 35 IBUs. Uh, the, the original gravity of 81. That's about it. Dry hopped, 27 GLs. Um, yeah, interesting one. So, do you know what? I can't remember. I need to have a. I'm trying to remember where I actually bought this. Um, it's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? But I'm going to carry on. Monster. Don't tell me here. I got it from the bottleneck. The bottleneck in Broadstairs. I thought I did, but I was just wanting to make sure. Um, so I've had this a little while. Um, when did I actually buy this? So I bought it on the 23rd of March. So I've had it for a few weeks. Anyway, let's crack it open then. It's a 440ml can. Um, and it's a best before the 30th of September of 2021. First garden beer review then of 2021. Now and again the breeze is coming up so I'm hoping this will work better outside. We'll see. Anyway, branded glassware, all that sort of stuff. For me, with the current day I'm reviewing, it's not quite... I mean, it looks nice, but it's not actually that, that warm at all. Got a fair few sours to come in up as well, so uh, I'm going to wait for the, the weather and a few lagers and stuff. But, but yeah, check out the artwork again. Pretty cool. I'm sure there's a relevance somewhere in that, but I don't know what it is um, at present. So We've got a little bit left there in the can, so it stops it from blowing away. So, beer in the glass. Very kind of juicy looking beer. Um, I'm saying this is described as um, so it just says a double IPA Imperial IPA um, so it actually has got uh, other ingredients obviously water, barley, wheat, oats which is the main one, hops and yeast which you know about so I didn't really pour much of a head on this one um, it's, it's full on hazy, very orangey um, so yeah, let's give it a swirl and a sniff Yeah, really trop really nice, really tropical. Soft citrusy fruits. Soft citrusy fruits. Pale stone fruits. Citrusy. Touch of mango, nothing crazy. Pineapple. A little bit of um, a little bit of dankness coming through. Slight pine edge, probably from the Simcoe, but it smells really nice, as you expect. I mean, these guys for me have improved in the last two years, big time. And quite lucky they're local. So anyway, let's crack on. Cheers. Very smooth, very juicy though, really juicy. Yeah, lovely citrusy, fleshy, not a blood orange, but just a very kind of fleshy orange. Obviously the ABV kind of 
enhances that a little bit. But the mouthfeel is fantastic. There's not really any kind of hint of a big ABV. It's more the body of the beer that probably gives you that. We've got a couple of wood pigeons here. One's gone. No, the other one's gone. So, hanky panky on a fence. But oh, that is very easily um, the drinkability of the beer for me. And this one is uh, for an eight percent beer. You'd never think it's an eight percent beer. It's just big, bold, juice bomb flavour. Um, it depends, I mean, if you like your IPA, you know, these days. A lot of them run together, of course. One or two stand out, one or two are slightly different. Um, this has got a little bit of everything. It's got, it's got familiarity, that word. Um, but it's also um, slightly different in terms of um, just the general, um, I don't know if the, what the malts and stuff they're using, not entirely sure. I mean, a lot of them now use the wheat malt, flaked barley and flaked oats. Um, not so many, I don't think anyway, use a Paris, Paris, Maris Otter. Paris otter, that'd be a good one. Um, but perhaps it's the yeast um, coming through that's making this really shine. Um, one of the brewers I know, he mentions that it can be very difficult, as I've said in other reviews, it can be very difficult to pull off a beer with London Ale free yeast. Me not being a brewer, I, I don't know. Um, but everyone I've had of their beers with this London Ale free yeast in been really really impressive and this is no different leaving a lovely lace in there this is the upper end of a medium body for sure finishes with a slight bitterness but it's nothing kind of um, it's not not a crazy bitterness I mean it's only 35 IBUs it's so soft, so delicate for a big ABV beer. Um, it's very well rounded, very well balanced, and really tasty. Uh, you know, that's all you want. Um, so, another cracking beer from Time and Tide, then out of deal. This is their Monster Soup. Um, they've, they've brought out a few other beers recently. Um, I actually bought two beers from them. Was it one or two beers from them today? I think it was two beers. Um, so, what else did I purchase today? Um, and this was only actually, apparently, it was only canned yesterday, and it's their Jack Sprat. Um, so it's another one of the Sprat kind of, uh, I don't know if it's turned into a series or not. So I got that. I got soup re-release of Soup Dragon today again, which is uh, brewed with London Ale Free Yeast, so I will do a re-review of that. Um, another one I bought with this at the time was um, Sooty Foot, which is an Imperial Stout. Uh, so I've got that to review as well. So I've got I've got three other beers from these guys to to, to uh, check out and um, be doing a review of them fairly soonish. But overall, a, a lovely, lovely beer. So let me know if you've had it before this is their monster soup their double ipa from time and tide brewing out of a deal in east kent in the uk cool thanks for watching then you'll take care and i'll see you on the next review cheers